Oh, the Matrix movie is the modern, is is like the modern mythology. It's it's the modern kind of story that speaks to people in this particular time. So when you look at the Matrix movie, and depends on what level of consciousness, you know, um, Christ being the first fruits, but whatever order one is able, whatever consciousness one is able to perceive some of the elements of the movie, you can see a real correspondence or reflection in in, in life depends on the level of your receptivity. You know, it, it really comes down to that. As one's, like, faith, one's our main gets stronger, then one can also perceive, one can also perceive much more. It's almost like if your antenna gets stronger, you can bring in more channels, so to speak, or you can get a clearer, you can get a clearer picture. So there's a lot of things that we'll refer to in sort of matrix sort of language and and I think that with the true knowledge of uh Sophia Sophia Stewart the mother of the matrix being a black woman and therefore writing it from a certain um experience and 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 consciousness or we could say a certain gnosis gnosis certain knowledge it really reflects a lot much more to us. You know, even the Wachowski or Wachowski brothers, you know, they they should be given certain credit for at least what they were able to bring to the screen, even though the true authorship, you know, the true inspiration, the, the true mother of the Matrix, and the true black and Beta Israel connection has been kind of lost in the shuffle. Still, when we apply the elements, we can reclaim the really reality and get out of it what we need to get out of it. So, when we look at the prophecies in the scriptures, the prophecies in the scripture becomes almost as certain programming. We like to call it like programming. The word programming is not actually found. Like, once again, this is referring to the Matrix movie and looking at some of the elements in the Matrix movie to explain certain biblical and prophetic elements and certain elements that are and were known in ancient times. You know, we talk about mythology. Mythology basically is a story. It's just like recently this is Fasica or Pesach, but called in the West Easter. And then you get the Easter, the bunny rabbit, and you get the bonnets, and you get the eggs and other kind of elements of of Easter. That's a programming. It has nothing to do with the true programming. The true programming, um, if you look at, you go to the Judaic um, um, tree, in other words, the Old Testament, you will have the Fasica, the Exodus, dealing with the Exodus, the recent um, vid that we've been trying to upload, and I think finally, hopefully, we'll be able to upload it before you all see this, which will um, speak on the importance of Fasica, um, Fasica, or the importance of of Passover, of when when the Beit Israel keep Passover and keep um, um, Fasica, links with important times in the history of the people, and there's more of a consciousness of um, Beit Israel identity for our Lord sheep. And they're beginning to not just glory in the fact that um, the people of the Bible, the Israelites, are black. That's that's one thing, and we've kind of been stuck on that for a while. You know, stuck on just the being black or black, 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 black. But now it's getting into the the, the practice, the the way, the truth, and the life. That's where we go to another level of manifestation another level of um, fulfillment, you know, reality. We, we're now, we're now um, doing it, not just hearing, being forgetful hearers of the word, but being doers of it. That's when we get to know it. That's when we get to really experience it. It's one thing to hear something, but it's next thing to hear it, get a good understanding of it, and then to do it. Then you gain some wisdom and come to the level of a overstanding or overcoming and that's what we need to be focusing on in this present 
um, dispensation in this present um, time. And there's a lot of brothers and sisters out there who are doing vids. Um, some of them we've got to catch and check out. Some, of course, we haven't gotten to um, view as of yet. But from those vids that we have gotten to see, we can see that the consciousness is increasingly growing. And, and we give thanks and we encourage it. And what we're going to do now is um, continue with uh, December 12, 2012, the, the Day of the Lord. We found something interesting, actually. We're going to probably play this first, and then we'll analyze, analyze the clip a little bit, um, the contents of it, as well as what the scriptures speak concerning um, the prophetic Day of the Lord. But now, when we say prophecy, in, in matrix neologic, we're looking at prophecy to be um, programming. You remember from the movie and the series, the trilogy, programming, a program is written. Now, the Bible teaches us that um, Joshua, Adonendo, Adoni, Joshua, Hamoshio, Yeshua, Hamoshio, Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, that he is the author of, and the finisher, right, of our salvation. So salvation, too, on a certain level, is a programming, so, because he is the author of that particular, in the terms of the matrix, that would be like a software, you understand, a software programming. You understand a link, a bridge, um, systemic anomaly, sin. He's the one who... Has, 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 has corrected a misprogramming, a virus, you know, and that virus is, is, is death. That virus is sin, which leads to the consequence or the karma of it, which leads to death. And so the whole reason for the season of, of Passover is in the fulfillment of it is the... The, the sacrifice, right, the sacrifice of our black Lord and Savior, which must be, um, which must be digested or assimilated. You understand the essence through faith, it must be assimilated in order to be effectual for each Christian, each Christian or each um, believer or each of those who accept for each of the receivers. It must be received by the receivers. Now, what scriptures teach us is that it's according to your faith. It's according to your faith. Now, even the whole point about faith needs to be taught and, you know, taught on because many people have different ideas about it. But it really doesn't matter the different ideas that we might have about it. In context with the scripture, we need to comprehend what is the ideas in context with the scriptures. In other words, if we are playing a game, you need to know what the rules of the game are. And life is more than a game, but many people refer to life on some level as game. So let us take you know, game language or game speak for a moment. If you are in a game, you need to know what the rules of the game are, you know, what the law of the game is. Now, we're in a system within the system within the system. Let's understand that. We're in the creation, right? And then man has created, for example, who are we? We define who we are not by truly who we are, but by system around us, by friends, by peers, by society, by religion, by economics, a lot of different factors weigh in. So whichever factor is most important in one's consciousness, that is, let's say, the first layer, the closest layer of the shell, in the sense that they have to break out of. Now, of course, the shell deals with the egg, and we're talking about Fasica, Passover, and Easter, the egg. But now these, remember what we said, it's a mythology, it's a story, 
You see, so if you receive Easter, you need to understand what that story is and find out whether that particular story really works for you or if it's a waste of your time. If it's Passover, one has to understand, well, what is Passover? What does Passover mean? Why don't most people celebrate Passover? Because they would say we're not Jews. But for the Jews and Hebrews who do celebrate Passover, it works for them because it reflects their reality. You understand? So it's a particular programming. So one has to ask himself, what programming are you living in? What particular programming and who is the author of that programming and how well do you comprehend or understand the laws that govern that particular programming? All right. So I got into that. I got, I got into that right.